All right, I want to spend a little bit of time with you going over some problems that have been giving me headaches, and that's finding the concentration of ions for a mixed solution. Now, uh, actually, yesterday I did a ton of these, but it was after, I don't know, probably eight or nine or ten hours of study for my general chemistry class, and, uh, well, let's just say kick my butt, and now I'm ready to uh, tackle it. There are a few pitfalls that uh, I'd like to point out and uh, walk you through. I, I made up a couple of problems ahead of this video, and let's just get started. So in a problem like this, what you're going to be looking for is, you, well, you're going to have two different volumes okay, of a certain concentration of a solution, and they're going to be different solutions. Okay, so in this case, 36 and a half, roughly milliliters of sodium bromide, and it's uh, 0.203 molar. And I put, should have put a zero in front of that, but oh well. Okay, so it's really a matter of just working with known ratios in the chemical equation or in the for the particular solution that you're working with. And I'm just going to start writing it. I think it'll be easier to explain as I do the math. So the thing we're looking for is how many bromide cations are there and, and really we're looking for uh, an answer that comes out in moles per liter okay so let's just write that up here so we don't forget moles per liter okay. it's kind of an anemic pen there let's uh there we go that's better okay so let's start it out i'll just write i'm looking for uh bromide cations so Bromine, uh, bromine, bromine. <laughs> mouth is failing today. I need to get out of my office and talk to people more, I guess. Okay, so uh, the, the bromide cation, I, I said that wrong. Uh, this, this question's bad. That should say, um, that should say anion. That's what happens uh, when you do it on the fly, right? Because I'm looking at a negative ion. Okay, I'm looking for the um, number of moles is what I'm going to solve for first on this one. And I'm going to have to do that for each of the solutions. So I start out with uh, bromine, and I know that I have 34.6 milliliters of the solution, right? And I'm starting up as a fraction. You can imagine a 1 here if you need to. And I know that there are 1,000 milliliters in 1 liter. And why do I want liters? Well, because of up here, right? I'm looking for moles per liter. That's my concentration. All right, well, uh, in this, I, let's see, I, I probably should see how many, mm, let's say how many moles per liter I have in the solution that I have right here. Well, I, I have a 0 0.203 in the full strength one. There are two, let's write that out, 0 0.203, and I'm going to say moles here. And I'll explain what I want. Moles per liter is molars, right? So that's going to be 0 0.203 moles per one liter, right? Say yes, that's right. <laughs> okay. Now, the next thing we have to know is what does this uh, what does this compound look like when it breaks up? And and maybe you've done problems like this before, but let's say I have. Uh, I'm going to clear out this little spot here. Let's say you have uh, your sodium bromide, okay? And the first thing we want to look at is, well, do they kind of balance out just in their current state? How many of these for how many of these? Well, I can see that uh, sodium's in the 1A group, and I can see that uh, bromine is in the 7A, and so they're a good match. I don't have to do anything else here, but if I were to break it up into, their, uh, into a, an ionic formula, then I'm going to see that I've got uh, an Na, positive, okay, and I'll have just one, I don't even need to write a one, so let's just do this, one bromine, but that's going to be a negative, or an anion, right, okay, and this is what we were looking for is right here. The reason we did that is because we want to see what the ratio of these are to this, because we're going to use it down in the formula. So uh, I'll stay here in yellow, let's say two or three, so I know that there is one mole of uh, <laughs> one mole of bromine anions for every, uh, I sh and I should have written what this is up here, for uh, every one mole 
of and it was sodium bromide, right? And, and really, I should have written this up here, but I'll just uh, kind of squeeze it in. Okay. All right. Now, uh, I think that's all we want. Let's just look at how the units end up canceling out, or if they do, milliliters cancels with milliliters, and we'll divide this in a minute. Uh, moles, uh, did I screw up? Oh, no, no, okay. Liters cancels with liters, and there's one, so that could just be ignored. Uh, and then I've got moles of sodium bromide, and moles of sodium bromide here, and so my final answer is gonna be in moles of bromide. So let's put equals right here, and then this is where we get the calculator, and I'll tell you what, this is where I get into trouble, is just writing down the numbers correctly and entering them correctly in the calculator. So, got my handy calculator here, and I'm going to type in, first of all, 34.6. And that's milliliters, I'm gonna divide that by 1,000. Okay, and then I'm going to multiply that by 0 0.203, and that's the moles from our from our equation up above. Okay, and I want to make sure I'm not missing anything else. And sometimes I like to do these twice just to make sure I didn't type things in funny. I'm kind of bad that way. So 32, or 34, excuse me, 0.6 divided by a thousand. Uh, and 0 0.203 times. Okay, looks like I got the same answer. Now, a word of caution here. If you happen to have the misfortune of working with Cengage's OWL homework, uh, it's an online thing for college. First of all, my, my condolences, it's terrible. But they like to round to every single step. So you grab your numbers from the periodic table, and they'll round to three sig figs. And then they, anyway, it's a mess. It's not the right way to do things, but to get the right answer on their program so you can move on to your next assignment and get credit, you're, you should just round it every step. And even though your answer is going to be a real mess, by the time you get to the end, they'll think it's right. And for your grade, I guess that's all that counts. Truth be damned. Okay, so um, the answer to this is 0 0.007. Another potential gotcha here. I miss <laughs> zeros all the time, especially when there's only one I'll kind of write this one down and think I'm done. So 0 0.00702 is the answer I got. And and what is it? It's in mol it's moles of bromine anions. Okay, that's the first part. Okay, now we need to do the next one which is the 45 milliliters. So I'm going to come over here and uh, just say what's my concentration? No. This is silly, but I, I really meant to click on a different color. Let's do it. Um, that looks great. Okay. Good grief. Um, so what's my concentration of bromine atoms, or excuse me, anions in the second solution? Well, I've got 45.8 milliliters, same as before, right? And then I'm going to take the same conversion, one liter, I'm not going to write it as neatly as I did before because I want to kind of hurry up so you don't get bored. Okay, Converting to liters because I need my answer in moles per liter. And then I'm going to say, what's the concentration per liter? And that's given to us right here. So I'm going to have 0. Point, that was a bad decimal point. 0 0.542. This is a times. Sorry, that's kind of sloppy. Here, let's start over. Let's go. Okay. So times 0 0.542, let's make sure that matches, okay, divided by one liter of solution, right? So one liter, one liter, we want those to cancel out. And then I'm going to say, looking at potassium bromide, well, they're both from the same column, so our work's kind of done. We could just say one over one of each, and we know it works out. So let's do the math on that, and it comes out to... 45.8 milliliters okay, divided by 1,000 times 0.542, that's our original strength, right? 
times. Okay, now that gives us 0 0.248. Okay. So 0, 2, 4, 8. What? It's moles of bromine. Okay, and, and negative. Uh, let's see, that should have been up here too, right? We're looking at an anion. All right, now we're part way there. We've got this in the one solution, we've got this in the other. And if we add them up, that'll give us the total moles of the uh, 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 total moles of bromine anions for the entire solution. So I'll just put n equals here, and I'm going to add the numbers using the significant uh, digit fiasco crap that you get from Al, just uh, because that's what I'm working on right now, and it needs to to match that. So I'm going to say, let me move it over here so you can see me typing. All right, I've got point zero zero. <coughs> nice voice crap. Uh, seven oh seven. Okay, and I'm going to add that to point two four eight. Okay, and plus, and that's two five five zero seven. Um, a little. Ah, uh, we'll just write down. Okay, so I've got zero point two five five moles of bromine anions, right? And I'm going to divide that by the volume of the entire solution. And the volume of the entire solution is going to be calculated like this. <coughs> I'm going to take this here and this here. I'm going to add them together and I'm going to divide them by a thousand. So let's do the first part first and then I'll put it underneath here. 34.6 plus 45.8 and I'm going to just do that off screen here. 34.6 some of you probably already added it in your head. Congratulations, you're a genius. I envy you. If you can work calculations in your head quickly and accurately. I cannot. <laughs> okay. Uh, 80.4 what? 80.4 milliliters, right? Okay, and we need to divide that by a thousand. Okay, so that we're getting liters because this has to be moles per liter, right? Okay, so when we divide that by 1,000, we get 0 0.08 zero four liters okay and then that gives us a final answer of gonna do this on my calculator again here okay I've got point two five five but that should be on top right and then I'm gonna divide the two of them and my final answer is to three significant figures two uh, that worked out kind of lame. Well, not lame. I just hate it when it bumps extra digits. 2.798, or, well, 2.79, this would round up, which is going to bump this up. So that's going to be 2.80 molars of bromine anions. And that's your answer. You're there. Thanks.